Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy with you today. We're going to look at the port that uh, you may or may not have been to, uh, Key West. Uh, now, for a while, they were trying to stop cruises coming into Key West. And typically, at least on Carnival, you really don't go in there for very long. Most of the cruises I have seen will get in like early in the morning and leave early in the afternoon. Um, I used to think this was because one of the traditions in Key West is to applaud the sunset, which they do every night on the beach. So they didn't want cruise ships leaving in the middle of that. But I've seen other cruise lines, such as Virgin, that actually do leave later from Key West. So I guess it goes by the cruise ship. Anyways, I'm going to give you a quick walk around the port. Um, I'm going to base this largely on if you go in in the morning and you're not there late in the afternoon, because there's only so many things you can do in Key West. It kind of reminds me in a little bit, not really, a little bit Catalina-ish in that there's only a few things to go see, but what you can go and see is really quite nice. So I'm gonna take you on the walk that we normally do. We'll go out to the southernmost tip uh, of America, and then we'll come back around and, and show you the walk that we do. Um, but again, not a great deal to do when you go into port in Key West, especially if you're going in during the day. By the time you leave, the restaurants are just opening <laughs> sometimes. But uh, you know, give it a look. And uh, you can play a little trivia game of how many uh, roosters and chickens do you see walking around because they are everywhere. Anyway, let's take a quick look at Key West. All right, so here we are getting off of the ship in Key West. This is Carnival Horizon. So we were here for the day. It was on a six day cruise. Again, we're there in the morning. We're leaving like 1.30 in the afternoon, so we really don't have much time to see too much that's open. So we just go for this little walk I'm going to show you. So this is geared more towards, you know, early stops. If you have a later stop, there's more to do. There's more will be open. So we're going to make our way out of the port right now. We're basically going to walk behind that big set of um, what looks like apartments there. There's some stores and shops in there. There's a couple of little... Um, areas on the right here where you can book some tours if you want to like jet skis there so you have a few little things you can do on the side here but again Key West isn't really locally geared towards cruise ships they're geared much more towards regular tourism that comes in by land in my experience um, and they, again they didn't want cruise ships for a while so they tried to ban them coming in they I read somewhere that the average cruise person only spends like $20 while they're in port probably largely due to the fact that uh, you are only in in the mornings. So here's the main area you walk out into. Now, where are we going to go? All right, we're going to walk up to where that says Mallory Square almost. So we're by the cruise ship dock. You'll see where we walked out. We are going to walk down Whitehead Street. You'll see it going um, basically top to bottom. And you'll see it ends up where the southernmost point is. You'll see the red, black, and yellow dome there. Once we've visited that, we are going to turn left and we're going to walk up to Duval Street, which is right where it says South Beach. And we're going to walk back down there to Mallory Square and then back to the ship. That's what we do anyway. So let's show you some of the sites along the way. So here you have, um, again, we just left the cruise ship port. Um, we're going to walk this way. There's a Museum of Art and History. Again, we got in really early in the morning, so nothing was really open. So we're just kind of walking down here. You will see a lot of roosters and chickens along the way. They are everywhere. There's a U.S. Coast Guard building. That was open for people to go in. But this is the street we're pretty much going to walk down here. This is Whitehead. Uh, just beyond there is the main like kind of party area that we'll end up at. So here we are. This is Whitehead Street right here. We're going to walk down here to the southernmost point. And then we're going to loop back around. So I'm going to show you some of the sites along the way. There's the Audubon House and Hostel with some gardens you can go into. There's lots of little kind of pseudo museum areas like this. Some very cool plants some very, very cool trees we'll show you in a second. But a lot of these buildings are like mini museums you can go in and check out. Um, we're going to see the Hemingway House in a second. Look at that tree, for example. You get some great pictures. But I mean, I can't say this is the most uh, outstanding port because <laughs> nothing's open when you go in the morning. Uh, there's another beautiful tree there you can get pictures of. Banyan, I think that is. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. 
But I just get the impression Key West is the sort of place that is not a morning place. It's an afternoon, evening place. And here is the Hemingway House, open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So basically, you're going to walk down here and come in on the left. So you see all the roads are like this, cobbled roads. I, I, I'm amazed we haven't seen any chickens or roosters on the way. But uh, trust me, they are everywhere. So here's looking in from the outside at Hemingway House. Yes, you have to pay, I believe, to go in there. There's a ticket office coming up on the left. It's about halfway down Whitehead Street before you get to that southernmost point. And there would be the ticket office where people will go in. We did not go in. But you could. And now here's the southernmost point. You see, there's always a line of people waiting to get their picture. Don't be that guy that cuts in up front because you will not be very popular. And people always try and do it. Closest or the most southern point in the US. So we did that. Now we're going to walk up, like I said, we're going to go straight up from the southernmost point, turn left on Davao Street and make our way back to the main kind of touristy area. And I'll show you some sites of that. So here we are. There's the Butterfly Museum. I guess that's quite well known. No, again, we did not go in here. We were just walking. Some hotels. And just to show, there is a seedy side to Key West. There is a gentleman's establishment. Can you believe that? I can see some of you writing the address down, aren't you? Sneakily. It's on Duval Street, 12221. 1221. 1221. And you'll see plenty of rental places like this where you can get bikes, mopeds, and stuff like that to drive around on. Although Carnival will tell you, please don't rent a moped. Accidents happen regularly. So this is uh, an important kind of note here. Duval and Truman Avenue, this cross street, is where you're going to find the Conch Tour Train Welcome Center, where the train starts from. There are stops elsewhere. And here's one just leaving, as they say. So you can do a tour around the area on one of these. They don't just start there. They start in a few different places. But I guess if you come here, you'll get your choice of seats. And this is basically what Key West looks like. It's uh, a very, dare I say, old-fashioned looking, very art deco in its look. Um, so this is what you would expect to see as you're walking down the main shopping area. Pretty much doesn't change from this. Even there, that is a Walgreens, if you can believe that. Looks like an old movie theater, but it is a Walgreens. So it's got a lot of character to it, if you like that sort of thing. There's even a Margaritaville Cafe, as you can see, if you want breakfast or the store there. And this is all down to Val Street, making our way back up to the main area before we head back to the ship and Mallory Square. Lots of tourist shops, lots of key lime pie stores that you can go into. Lots of bars, lots of restaurants. And as the morning went on, they yes, they did open up like 11, 12 o'clock. But again, you've got to be back on the ship usually by about one. So you just don't have much time to enjoy this area. There was actually a music festival going on while we were there. You'll see the stage at the very end there. We'll show you a close up of that in a second. But obviously nothing was going to happen while we were in port. So this is the end of Duval Street right before. This is basically coming into Mallory Square. There's a famous bar there called Sloppy Joe's that you may have heard of or you may look up. That's what it looks like. I guess that's like Key West equivalent of uh, Senior Frogs. I don't know. <laughs> there's Rick's. And there's another area where the conch train goes from. This is right down by Mallory Square. This, we're very close to the cruise ship again right now. It's basically where we started from almost. But there's one more little area I want to show you, which is actually Mallory Square. There's lots of shops and uh, good stuff like that in there. And I'll take you on a little tour of Mallory Square right now. So you're going to come in here. Again, we are real close to the ship. If you just came off the ship and took a left, we took a right to go down Whitehead Street. But if you kept going straight towards Duval Street, you would go past here. And again, you'll see this was like 11, 30, 12 o'clock and uh, very little was open. So uh, be aware of that. But lots of cool little places you can come to here. Hopefully a lot more will be open. Could be the time of year. I don't know. And there you go. There's the uh, cockerel influence right there. I promise you, you'll see them everywhere. Don't be scared. There's a shipwreck museum. So lots of things to keep you occupied, but you've got to find them and hope they're open. 
again, if you're in a late cruise, you're in a much better situation than in the early ones. So there, again, uh, another quick look at Mallory Square. And then we would head back to the ship. There's your trolley tour. They do do those as well. So, uh, but again, you're pretty much, it's pretty much going to take you where I just walked. <laughs> so, and I would say that walk took us an hour. So there you go. A quick little tour around Key West before we head back to the ship. There's another conch train. All right, time to go back to the ship. All right, there you go. That's Key West. Um, you know, decent enough port stop. Um, probably, I mean, I really enjoy, I've been to Key West on a regular trip a few times and I've really enjoyed the nightlife and everything there. Not a place I could go for very long maybe a couple of days I could last before I ran out of things to do. So but it's a great place to go visit, but yeah, maybe not my favorite port. Sorry, Key Westers. Uh, anyways, with that, if you enjoyed that little tour, I got loads of other port stops on my channel. Just search for them and hopefully you'll find one there. And I've got a lot more coming. Um, if you want to subscribe to this little channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you hit that little bell, you will get notifications when these videos come out. I do a tips video every Monday, so please send me yours. My email is coming up. I will warn you in advance. I do not read them in advance. I read them as I record it and I react accordingly. You have been warned. My British sense of humor will come out. I'm nice though, unless your name's Dave. Um, so, oh, I can see the comment now, Dave. I can see it. Anyways, if you have any questions, my email is coming up at the end of this as well. So please free to email me any questions you may have. And with that, I will see you later, Cruising World. Any questions? Email me anytime. CruisingSuitGuy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, EliteTravelConnection.com or email me, Mick at EliteTravelConnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please. Pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay, I'm begging. Please. Subscribe. Thank you.